Aber dann kamst du mit all deiner Liebe. Und dann kamst du. Hey everyone, I had the pleasure to see Jojo Rabbit yesterday, so this is my review on the movie. So Jojo Rabbit takes place during World War II, and it's about a young boy named Jojo. And I was also reading that Jojo and there's another young boy in the movie named Yorkie. It's actually both of their first times ever in a motion picture ever. I shouldn't say acting, but it's the first time in a motion picture. Both of them are amazing. All the performances in this movie are really, really well done, whether it's in the form of being serious, being funny, adding drama to the movie, adding comedy to the movie. It's very well acted, very well written. But back to the little synopsis of the movie. Jojo is a young 10-year-old boy who is recruited into Hitler's youth camp in Germany during World War II. And in his head, his imaginary friend actually is Hitler. And Hitler's kind of telling him how to be a good little Nazi and what he should believe, what Jews are like, what, yeah. It's just basically the messed up head of a 10-year-old in Hitler's Nazi youth camp. So the movie progresses a little bit where Jojo unfortunately gets into an accident during a training camp when he gets into an accident. I'll just say I don't want to go into spoiler territory. But that basically puts him bedridden. A lot of Nazism has to do with perfection and he's left with some scars from it. So he's outcasted from being in the Hitler Youth Camp, being a soldier, doing all these things that he thought was... Everything he thought was being a good German was basically stripped away from him because he has a little bit of a deformity. So he spends a lot of time with his mother, played by Scarlett Johansson, who does an amazing job in this movie. It's probably my favorite performance that I have personally seen from her. She absolutely nails the role. She brings a lot of life, a lot of color to the movie. And this movie is very colorful. <laughs> I'll get into that a little later. But yeah, Jojo starts to spend a lot of time with his mother, who she basically, you find out throughout the movie that she's letting him be this way, basically be brainwashed by the Hitler Youth Camp is a way to protect him because she is actually harboring a young Jewish girl in their house who Jojo, I don't want to say stumbles upon, but basically he finds asking Hitler, played by Taika Waititi, who is the director of this movie, I should say, who nails the directing, nails the role of Hitler too. And it was really cool to see as the movie progressed, Jojo's kind of imaginary friend Hitler evolves throughout the movie as he learns more about Germany, as he learns more about Nazism, as he learns more about Jews, as he learns more about actually the horrors that are going on in this country, seeing Taika evolve as Hitler, as at the first, at the start, he's basically as naive and as young as Jojo is. But as the movie progresses, you start to see him become more the Hitler we all know Hitler to be. I started to see him be very damaged, very authoritative by the end of the movie. And it was really, really interesting to see all of that come together. And, you know, the movie has a lot of humor in it. It is very funny. But every single line, every single image in the movie, even though it's funny, even though it's colorful, there's an underlying message behind all of it that's really dark, really disturbing. It, it basically... It's coloring everything in a certain way where behind it, the context behind it is very real, very disturbing in a way. And I thought that was one of the really brilliant things about this movie. They do it throughout the entire film. Like I said, almost every single line, every single joke has some sort of greenness behind all the color that the movie brings. There's a lot of two, which I really liked in the movie, is it explains why people think the way they do why they're trained the way they think where some like of course all the nazis in this movie are painted to be so just they're goofballs they're dumb they have no idea what they're doing 
in most of it. And yeah, with some characters is you can tell they're put in this situation or they put a mask on because they're scared of what will happen to them if they don't become Nazis. So that's why they believe these things. That's why they're doing what they're doing. There's um two characters in the movie who are actually, I'm not going to go into it, but the movie has a bit of a homosexual storyline and they're in these big leader positions. <laughs> but they they mask it because of what they're afraid of and they actually end up having a pretty heroic moment near the end of the movie. And same thing with Jojo is as he starts to learn more about Jews, more about himself, more about how he'll never be accepted. Like basically how he as a German is just like a Jew because everyone is... We're all the same people. That's basically what Jojo starts to learn. It's a very... I know, I feel like some people might say, oh, this is just an old used message, but if we forget stuff like this, if we don't put it in people's faces, there's a chance that we can forget it, and that's what I really respect Tanka for doing in this movie. But, and this movie is really... Like I said, it's just... Behind all the color in it, it's just finding that little gray area on why people think the way they do. Some people truly believe, like you could see in these movies, some people are trained to think this way or they're just so blinded by it. Like I said, Jojo is basically let to do his thing because of how just his mother was so scared that if anything if jojo was to be act a certain way he would be shamed he could be killed and it's, it's like i said this movie is just very very grounded in reality throughout all the color all the jokes all the comedy and yeah no this movie is definitely worth one definitely worth checking out it was very very well done and that's why i'm giving it one of the highest ratings i can give it it's i'm giving it nine out of ten it's a phenomenal movie and you should definitely go check it out if you haven't already jojo rabbit is Absolutely amazing.